Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to take a look at an interesting little Faro tool. If you go into Tools and you pull down Finder, it's an interesting tool to get senders, implementers, and classes out by searching. And it's pretty easy to use if you start doing something like this. If you want to look for selectors that have the word, say, select colon in them, just hit return and it'll find that. If I wanted to get rid of the colon, just find that, it would find everything that has the word select in it. Notice it takes a little longer because that gets me a lot of stuff. And then I can go in here and find things down here. I can look at the senders by selecting that, or I can go down here and select the implementers. So I can kind of drill down to what I actually want to see. I can get senders, implementers, versions, inheritance, all sorts of interesting things. If I change this to, I don't know, say collection and go to classes instead, notice this is going to pick these up. And I can also go over here and say I want to say source. Now this is going to take a lot longer. Notice collection is going to turn up in the source code a lot. So it has to scan the change in source file and look through everything. So this is a little slower, but it'll find all the references in the code. Now there's one other feature that when this finishes I want to show you. And with that out of the way, let's go down here to this last piece, examples. This one's a little harder to explain. What you want to do is go to this little code fragment down here, and I'm just going to inspect it. Probably not the best way to look at it, but let's inspect and look at this thing that comes up. It'll give you an example of what's going on. If you want to use something, type a fragment of a selector in the top pane, accept it, or use an example. So you can type stuff like this, this example, and find code that matches that. I'm not going to try to do that. It's a little hard for me to figure out, and it's not that useful, I don't think. But it's if it's something you're used to, it's kind of a cool thing. The more interesting part to me is the fact that if you come up here and you're a regex person, you can always come over here and say, I don't want to search by just pattern matching. I want to do a regex. So I could type a regex string here and have it match that way as well. So there's a whole lot of things you can do. You can filter this by packages, by all packages. So you can narrow your scope or widen your scope and search pretty much any way you feel like searching. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.